everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Yashaswini. So in this video, we will be talking about self-love. So before we get into video, it would really mean a lot for me if you consider subscribing to my channel. So subscribe right away. So self-love, something that everyone is talking about and it has to be my favorite topic as well. Self-love could mean so many things to each one of us. For some, self-love could be self-discipline. For many of us, it could mean self-validation and it could also mean self-acceptance for many of us, right? Whatever the literal meaning is, for me, self-love is giving ourselves a huge and a nice hug and doing everything possible to keep ourselves happy. Of course, by not hurting anybody. And I know I always keep on saying that 20s are the best time to develop and cultivate as many good habits as possible. But for self-love, I'm not going to tell that. The reason being, self-love is universal. It's never too late or never too early to adopt this beautiful lifestyle called self-love. So here's presenting Yashaswini's top favorite ways of developing self-love. The first and the foremost thing is understanding the fact that each one of us are different and unique in our own ways. Today, most of us are struggling to fit in. It may be in that cool group of friends in our college or it may be in that group of colleagues in your workspace or sometimes, very sadly, it could even be our own families. You and I was trying extremely hard to fit in, but slowly I realized that in that whole process, I eventually lost who I actually was. So it's okay to not fit in sometimes. Imagine a world filled with same individuals who look the same, who talk the same, and who think the same. It would be a horrible sight to visualize, right? That's what it is. We all are different and we need to understand, respect and accept that fact as early as possible. And I was reading in this book which, I, which has beautifully stated that comparing yourself to others, it would be the biggest insult you would be doing to your whole journey. It's so right, right? So if you don't fit in in any of the group, it's okay. Maybe there is something even more bigger and something even more happier waiting for you. So stop beating up yourself because you are not same as others and start respecting that fact. And second way of developing self-love is by stopping to wait for external validation. You have to stop seeking for external validation. So you really like this outfit, but you, have, you are not going to wear it because your group of friends are not approving it that much. And you want to post this picture on Instagram, but it's not cool enough according to Gen Z standard of posting in Instagram, so you don't post that picture. Nobody compliments you, so you consider yourself not so good enough. This, my friend, is a very vicious cycle of seeking external validation. And if you are stuck in this whole cycle, you can never be happy. So please take a stand for yourself. Acknowledge the fact that you have to live your own life and not anybody else's. It's all about perspective. If you treat yourself very highly enough, the society will do the same for you. And if you treat yourself very badly, the people will end up doing the same. No matter what world thinks about you, it's you who should be having the highest belief in yourself. It's all about self-worth. You have to understand your self-worth. That's when the people are going to understand your worth. If you are going to treat yourself badly and start beating up yourself, then people will do the same for you. So in a, before... Seeking for external validation, you must understand what is self-validation and you must start validating yourself and understand your self-worth. Next way of developing self-love is by having that me time or alone some time with yourself. Imagine a beautiful evening. You're sitting all by yourself alone. There's beautiful music going on and you're sipping tea and the sun is setting. It sounds so beautiful, right? You all don't know how much those 10 to 15 minutes of me time and self time can have on us. We understand ourselves so much better. And believe me, once you start enjoying your own company, na, there is no turning back. You understand yourself so much better and the longest relationship that we can ever have is with ourselves, right? So we better enjoy ourselves and we better love ourselves. And yeah, that me time is extremely, extremely, extremely important for all of us. We all so much underestimate the power of me time and self time. Those few moments of alone time, ignoring all the external chaos that is happening around us could really lighten up your mood and they can also bring a lot of peace in your days. So try it. Try spending some time with yourself where you're not worrying about your, anything. You're just lost, with, lost within yourself. Those few moments are amazing and once you start practicing giving time for yourself, you're going to love the whole journey, believe me. 
So this was all about self love. I can go on and on about self love, but there's a limited time for this video. And yeah, I hope you all like this video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It would really mean a lot for me. And until next time, bye bye.